of this list. You on the four, some really good news just in time for Christmas for a family that's had a hard time. You may remember, we've told you about Kara Martin and her family. They were involved in a very serious wreck in July. Two of her children were critically injured and now there's a major gift for the family. Our Brian Henry is live from Tuscaloosa to pick up the story from here. Brian, we wanna hear all about it. Well, Sarah, the family learned just a few days ago that they've been approved for a new Habitat home Kyra Martin says this is one Christmas gift she'll never forget. I was excited. Kyra Martin was all smiles and mighty grateful after learning the family of four will at some point move out of their apartment and into a brand new Habitat home. No doubt. We're trying, we're trying for that, man. We just Habitat, trying for this. Habitat for Humanity. <laughs> Who's doing all the work setting up the house? Sliders, I, I go it. I've been one that's done it. that before. Oh, you did this before? You helped the family like this? No, you helped build one I of the did houses. I've for humanity before, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's so absolute. New Habitat home. Martin says this gift could not be more fitting to end the year, knowing what the family endured just a few months ago. I did. I was so excited um, and everything about the news and more excited about the for the kids. The kids. Michael, Malcolm, Jacob and Miracle, who remains largely paralyzed from the neck down after a horrific crash in mid-July on Skyland Boulevard near the 2059 oh, interstate. Miracle says the family's apartment is a bit too cramped for their needs now. I'm really happy that I get to have my own bedroom. It'd be oh. more. Gladys is so nice. Thank you, Gladys, for giving me this shit, man. For real. Salute. This nigga, racist shithole we live in. A, a son person wouldn't like give a fuck about the end of this shit. Not a fly for she probably got paralyzed by some fucking sun team running from the fucking cops or some shit in a fucking carjack car. Who remains largely paralyzed from the neck down after a horrific crash in mid-July on Skyland Boulevard near the 2059 interstate. Miracle says the family's apartment is a bit too cramped for their needs now. I'm really happy that I get to have my own bedroom. It'll be more spacious, uh, wheelchair accessible. Martin says her next meeting with Habitat leaders is set for January 5th. On that day, according to Martin, they'll begin to chart out the location of the new home and the time frame to have it built. I'm thinking that it'll be on the west end of Tuscaloosa. Of Kyra Martin's four children, Miracle and Malcolm received the most serious injuries. Malcolm has made the most progress by learning how to walk again. What miracle Damn. is now able to move her head and parts of her shoulders. The family's apartment has three bedrooms. The new home will feature four. I was happy. This means so much to me. Um, Heaven sent, according to Kyra Martin. That's now, kind of strange. We hope to learn a few more details yeah. today from Habitat leaders here in Tuscaloosa on Martin's new home in the future, but we were unable to reach that. And Tuscaloosa Brian Henry, WBRC Fox 6 News, on your side.